Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hello, my name is Sam and it's lovely to meet you. If you're not new around here, welcome back, welcome back to The Fun House. If you haven't already guessed by today's, today's thumbnail, I am going to be doing a full face of my most expensive products, my bougiest products that I own. Um, I just thought this would be really interesting. I'm going to do a drugstore one as well, but I'm going out tonight for a meal. And so yeah, I thought it would just be a good way to show these products off and give them their time on my channel. Um, so yeah, if that is what you're interested in and you want to do a get ready with me, then please stick around. Please keep watching and don't forget to hit subscribe and make sure that you stick around. Turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. <laughs> So I've already done like my uh, moisturiser and stuff. I just wanted like a quick question. Can can you see like this kind of glow on my face? Like that's not just the lighting. That is the moisturiser that I'm using and absolutely flipping loving. It is the Glow, Re glow, glow Recipe Hyaluronic Cream. I I've just been loving this, absolutely. Sometimes I'll put it on top of a moisturiser. Sometimes I'll just use that as a moisturiser. Uh, but I, yeah, I've been absolutely loving this. It gives such a nice glow to and it, my makeup sits on it absolutely beautifully. But can I ask a quick question? Um, as you all know, I'm not really um, going to be supporting a person here at Michaela, uh, here on my channel, just because of, you know, something that she did, which... Apparently, she's not the only one now. It's coming out that a lot of people have done it. Uh, but yeah, it's something that she did and it really, like, really like pissed me off, basically, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Uh, but I'm pretty sure when she did her little set with Glow Recipe, I know this was in it. That's where I got it from um, a while ago. It's not recently. And I'm pretty sure when she was doing, like, a TikTok, she, she said that this was her product, like, her... Plump Plump, she had that like really big pink glittery one and she says I'm using my Plump Plump. So let me know because I really want to repurchase this uh, but I also don't think that she has any entitlement to any of my money. Um, So yeah, do any of the proceeds go to her or do you know, or do you know a really, really good one, another hyaluronic? I don't really mind if it's a little bit bougie, a little bit more expensive, as long as it does the same as this one. And it leaves my skin feeling really, really shiny and, yeah, beautiful. So I just thought I'd, I'd ask, basically. If you know, let me know down in the comments. And if you don't know what she did, I'm, I'm sure it's all over Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. It's everywhere. So I'm going to do my eyes first. As I said, I'm going out for a meal. I'm not going to be wearing this top. It's just what I've been wearing earlier. Um... And I'm going to use my most expensive palette. Now, I have a few of these now, but this is the one that I bought when it first launched. I bought, purchased it on launch day. At the time that it launched, I was on the wait list for this bad boy, ready to come out. And it was the Mothership 10, and it is her Moonlit Sedu Seduction. I forgot what it's called then. Um, I've already primed my eyes with P. Louise. I don't have a high-end eye base. Sorry. And this is what the palette looks like. It's very well loved, and very, very, very well used. Um, so today I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use this palette. I just, yeah, just let's just hop right into it. Let's just chat away. Let's see what everyone's doing on this lovely weekend. I don't, like I say, we're just gonna go and do. We're going for a meal. So basically, it's a um, like light um valentine's meal basically because we just um we didn't do anything for valentine's day this year because like kids and it was a weekday and i was at the hospital so yeah we just didn't do anything like fasc fascinating or anything that was really interesting we just like cooked at home and then we were going to go out like the weekend after and we were both quite poorly so we didn't end up doing that either i know so basically we haven't um done anything <laughs> as of yet so yeah it's a little bit late but we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it basically I'm just starting out with like what is the actual lightest matte in the palette. 
um, which is just this one. I'm just packing that on and blending out the edges. I absolutely love this palette. If you didn't watch my number ones of 2022, where I did my whole palette ranking for the year, or where have you been? <laughs> Basically, um, no, it was uh, it was this one. This one was number one. If you don't want to go and watch it, if you do, then go and show it some love. But yeah, I'm just gonna pack this on. So we're going to. Um, Miller and Carter. I don't know. Is Miller and Carter like a just a UK thing, or do is it like abroad as well? I'm not too sure. If you are from the UK, let me know if you've ever heard of, you know, Miller and Carter, because I would be so interested. It is quite a nice, fancy restaurant, and the one that we're going to is like right by a lake as well which is it's just nice it's just nice to get out isn't it i don't like we don't go to bougie meal places it's not really for us we, we're happy to just like go to like a local pub or something like that that's just us um but yeah we just thought you know we had um a week voucher for christmas and we were going to use it it was like one of those where you could there was like lots of different places where you could use it basically and we were um we were just going to go to a pub like we, there was some pubs on there we just thought yeah we'll just go to a pub that's what we that's what we like uh because minimum car is a steakhouse and neither of us eat steak <laughs> um but yeah so but we decided we were going to be a bit bougie and we were just you know we were going to go out and it's my first week back on Slimming World as well so not looking forward to that way in because there's no way I'm sticking to it because like I said we don't do it very often I want to take full advantage I'm just going to keep like packing this colour on and blending it out can you just see it's just so effortless and then I'll, I'll come back you don't want to keep seeing me do that so with the same brush, I'm just going to pick up like this darker purpley colour, sort of feathering that through the crease a little bit. When I tell you that these mattes are worth it, these mattes are so worth it. They're really worth it, like they're just, they're just effortless basically. Just absolutely love them. Look at my whole art. I kind of wished now that I'd bought her all matte palette from um, the like love collection that she did for Valentine's Day. But you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to get a, um, my Refa old one and just start to like bring that slowly through the crease. This is literally out of my comfort zone. If you're new around here, I am a bright colourful makeup lover. But I do have a very soft spot for, you know, Pat McGrath, especially her motherships. Yeah. I'll leave that like that. Oh, this is so pretty. I just, I just love it. I don't know what shimmers to use. That's my only problem. I'm gonna go in with my artistry one if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. It's just the intensify stick, which I probably am gonna need a new one soon. But you know. It is what it is. What did everyone else do for Valentine's Day? I mean I know it's a little bit late. And I'm pretty sure I've already asked on another video, but you know, you might be new around here. So, do you like Get Ready With Me? Would you prefer me to just stick to doing um, reviews of makeup? What do you like to see? I don't really know. I, I do like to chat away because even when I'm reviewing a product, sometimes my. Um, 
a video is going to go on for a long time. <laughs> Just going to say. Um, okay. Um, I kind of want to use either maybe one of these two. If you don't know Pat McGrath, I'm just going to swatch them for you. In fact, I'm going to swatch all of her special shades just to show you. So these are called the Astral Bleach shades. I'm not too keen on that lilac -y one, but I'm just going to show you here. So it will let look in. And that one. Oh my god, that one does it for me. Oh, right, there we go. Look at those. I think I might use this one for a change. Um, I'm never prepared. Never. I've got all my brushes ready and then I knew I'd forget one. Which is for the shimmers. The shim shim. So I'm going to go in with... What is it that one? I'm going to remember, yeah. It's got like a pinky. A pink. Oh, it's just so wet looking. It just looks so rich. So, so rich. And I think I'm going to concentrate this on the inner portion of my eye, I think. Yeah. Oh, it hasn't picked up that well. Oh, it has. Excuse me. Me being blind. It's just so like pretty and shiny. It was the light that I thought I hadn't even picked it up. Oh dear, never mind. Yeah, so did you do anything nice for Valentine's Day? I literally didn't. We're doing it tonight, so yeah. To create some kind of shape with that, like a cut crease type shape. And then you all know I'm going to have to go into my favourite shade in the palette. If you don't know, well, you're going to know right now. So I'm going to tap that over. This one is definitely like more of like that toppery shade, which I think I might use, but we'll give that a minute. I'm just going to go in with i forget the name but the the beautiful beautiful one that people have tried to, to dupe so many times and have failed so miserably and i'm just gonna pack this literally right on here just like that out to corner just look just look at that it's got so many different shifts to it and it's just literally so stunning can you see why this was number one palette of the year? It's just, I feel like you can definitely get that date night look with it. But you can so get like an everyday wearable look with this. It's just absolutely insane. Mm. I'm going to go and tap over. I think I'd probably do that with my finger. I'm not sure these shades are blended nicely together. Oh, you don't put yourself in the eye, Sam. A good one. Yeah, I'm going to go over the top of it. <clears throat> I'm just going to tap over it with this like light shade. I don't really think it's a really weird. It's not like her normal, her normal formula. I don't, but I just want to put it on there just to give it that little bit of summer. summer. It's definitely not my favourite shade in the palette. Did I make a mistake doing that? I don't think I am. Hmm. Did we? I thought it was best to tap it on with a brush rather than using my finger. Yeah, it's just like, it's not my favourite shade um, in there to be honest. But I just, apart from that one shade I absolutely love. The whole palette. So I'm going to hop in and do some primer now. I'm just going to make sure that those shades are, you know, blended together nicely. Oh, so nice. 
This is probably going to be a long video as well. So I do apologize. In advance. Yeah, I love it. You know what? I have it. I'm just looking at this these on here and I don't think I've actually got a highlight ray, but it is what it is. We'll come to that in a moment. Um, in a corner, I'm not I'm gonna do my lower lash line once I've done my base makeup. So for primer, I'm gonna use my um filter filter, yeah, Fenty Soft Matte Pro Filter Foundation. Now I am looking to go a little bit more glowy. Now that I'm getting a little bit, you know, older, you know, fine lines and stuff are starting to appear. Can you see this red mark? I always get this. Like that's not in a reaction to something. It just literally just pops up. I feel like sometimes it's just when I get too hot, I just end up getting this like really just random red mark on my neck. Anyone else? Fun fact about me. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna what's the saying? Yeah, I'm trying um, to go a little bit more glowy, like I said. But for, like, nights out and stuff, I know that matte foundations just last on me. I'm used to them. So, like, I do like to go glowy, but I think I might do, like, some fake glow. Uh, by fake glow, I mean, like, using... Um, something I'm not going to be using today, but like ambient, um, the ambient, ambient, ambulance, ambient lighting palette from, um, Everglass. I feel like that would be like such a, a nice one to give you that glow from within look without being glow from within, basically. Right. So now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix my foundation. I'm not going to mix it, mix it, but I'm still going to put, I'm going to put like a bit of a glow on my skin, which is the, oh, this is a little bit of a tester, <laughs> the Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, Yeah, like I said, this is a primer, but we are going to try and add it to our foundation because I do, like I say, I really do like this. Like, I went out today and I only used the e.l.f. Halo Glow, so yeah, I probably put too much of this on. Never mind, never mind. And for foundation, we are going to go in with my new Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear foundation. It's new to me. It's quite liquidy for soft matte. I've um when I was in the shop, I I got to like do a little test of this one and the one that is like the more glowy one. Yet the more glowy one just felt really big. This is really runny. Do you know what I mean? Um, it just felt really thick. If that makes sense. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't get it because it's it's supposed to be. And she was like, I know it's weird. I was like, yeah, it is. Um, she's like, but this one is more thicker because of some product that it had in it um as opposed to something that this had in it so i'm just going to mix those and see whether we can get some of keep some of that glow whilst you know still being pretty matte we will see how we go and this is why i love charlotte Tilbury. can you just say she just nails complexion products. Like I'm still glowing, and that is like a soft matte foundation, and I've still got, I've still got glow. Anyway, we're gonna move on. So I'm gonna put on a new concealer today. I purchased the Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte um, Concealer. I purchased this today. I purchased it in the shade Marshmallow, but looking at it, I think it might be a little bit too pink. Uh, but I can warm it up a little bit this is just the packaging i'm sure you've all seen it it's like huge on tiktok this is the little doll foot applicator i'm just gonna yeah i'm just gonna see how is this gonna be a good match for me oh it might be a bit too light we will see we'll see how she blends out anyway super super excited because you know Oh, God, I've got too much on there. 
because I'm just yeah I'm loving the concealer it picks up a lot on the brush but then like I don't really want to wipe it off it's making a bit of a mess to be quite honest okay I'm just gonna let that rest for a minute which is what I do with any concealer because I want to get maximum coverage uh so we're gonna see whether that dries down too quick fingers crossed it doesn't because this isn't like test well it is testing it but probably should have tested it out before anyway uh cream products right so for cream bronzer we're gonna go in with some chanel this is the chanel i have absolutely not lay beige cream bell i'm not gonna say it um healthy glow bronzing cream um yeah and it is it is really really nice it's not like it's it's a little bit hard like i probably like, like yeah it's a little bit hard but it's just so nice so so nice i don't really use it enough it just gives you that looks like you stepped off a plane really nice sun kissed look I think anyway um yes like so it's just really nice uh but I try not to use it that much because it was like really expensive <laughs> uh if that makes sense but if I'm going out or like have a party or something I'll be whacking the Chanel out all the time I do really like beauty products like i don't want to like brag or anything like that it's like each their own there are some really great like dupes like the elf halo glow for charlotte Tilbury. like you know it's good dupe would i say it's exactly the same like absolutely not um but it's a good dupe if that makes sense it's looking a little bit like crazy like orangey on camera but i can assure you it does not look like that in real life it's just perfect I absolutely i really do rate that and i know a lot of people don't because i find that it's just a little bit like, hard to blend out maybe i'm not too sure but i absolutely love it right let's try and blend out this concealer let's get my powder ready first i'm going to be using huda beauty in cupcake you all know the drill she's amazing 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 powder I've never found another powder quite like it. Um, I don't particularly like the mesh thing because it takes forever to get out. But yeah. I'm not like a baker or anything, so I don't need like 10 ton of product. Um, and I'm trying to apply my powder puff. I'll use just my Trig Bell Cosmetics. I have got the Artitude ones, but I don't know for some reason. I don't know whether it's just like a um, what's it called? Like a um, what is it, like a placebo type thing? <laughs> not placebo. Uh, what's the word I'm after? It's like a. I feel like that one is better, but I think like they do the same thing. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, don't you? Right, let's see if this is going to make me look like a ghost. Okay, blends out okay. Okay, it actually blends out really well. I was going to bring the Lancome in because that is like my trusty concealer at the moment. But okay, okay. This bitch is here to play. Oh. Hmm. Is it a little bit too light for me though? I possibly think that it is. But it's fine. It's absolutely fine. The under eyes are obviously the biggest issue. I have wrinkles, fine lines, and all of that jazz. So we're just gonna. This is definitely a lightweight concealer. Like it kind of ran a little bit down my face like not like massively but it did definitely spread whilst i was putting on that um what's it called that um cream bronzer so yeah it's definitely for something that is matte it's definitely 
Well, I mean, this Too Faced and um, Lancôme are definitely by far my utmost favourite concealers. But yeah, this one's a little bit too... Oh god, it is a little bit too lucky, isn't it? Okay, we're going to have to probably pay that bit. Uh, never mind. We can make it work, guys. We can make it work. I don't think I'd use it all over my face again. Uh, but under the eyes, it's really nice because it's really quite brightening. And I don't like to be like, too bright, but at the same time, I want to be, you know, quite bright. Let's set my under eyes and let's just try and save myself from looking like Casper. I'm just going to dot that on and then we're just going to go in and press it in, guys. Press it. Press, press, press. Because the more... You know, you rub the more you this will just settle into your lines. I'm not a professional in any way, but you know, from my experiences, I'm just trying to be helpful. Okay, okay, so that is what that concealer is looking at. Oh, I quite like that. Okay, let's bring some life back in and let's just, let's bronze up a little bit. There we go. Now I'm looking a little bit more, more natural. But I would say if I used it again, which I definitely will, I'd put that on first and then go in with my bronzer just to help tone it down a little bit. I'm just going to use the rest of, why do I put things down and I'm going to find them? Of my powder and just blur out these pores guys if you haven't used a powder puff i'm just gonna show you i'm just gonna come and show you okay wait till we get some focus i'm just gonna show you and i'm not even gonna try and sell this powder to you because this powder sells itself basically can you can you can you just see the difference like i like, <sighs> I just love it. I absolutely just love it. And I hope that so many other people love it as well. I'm just going to set down my teeth on today because we're going to try and be glowy. I'm going to add another powder and I'll show you that one. But yeah, that's just the favourite powder. On, pressed in, looking... oh god my hand is like so painful today um yeah so for i'm just gonna for the rest of my face i am gonna set it all because like i said i just i love to be set into place when i'm going out and i'm just gonna set it with my huda glowish this is in one fair and i'm just gonna pat this on Ever so lightly. I mean, am I still? No, I'm pretty much matte now. <laughs> oh god, I'm pretty much matte. Never mind. That girl was still there, though. You saw that. I could have kept that if I wanted to, but I just didn't. I just didn't want it. So yeah, basically. Next, we're gonna go in with my. One of my favourite bronzers, actually. And I've hit pan massively on this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I mean, what the hell? I've got to stay in that. I absolutely love this bronzer. I absolutely love it. It's just so... I have mine in the shade 2 medium, I think, which is a little bit, probably too dark for me. Um, but I can make it. Now, for blush, we're going to go in, oh my god, I'm just, um, we're going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, Ma uh, the magic wand, the matte one. So, yeah, I'm just going to, like, inform you guys, because 
I feel like there are so many people out there that are like, this product goes so well on top of powder. Okay, let's just have a sit and a little bit of a think about that saying. So basically, no liquid will ever sit well on top of something that's meant to keep your face dry. Okay, unless you apply it correctly. I'm just going to say that. I see so many people, this is the one that I'm going to be using today, this is in the shade Pillow Talk. I see so many people, I'm having such a bad hand today, and they do this and then try and blend it out. And they say, oh, it doesn't separate your makeup. Bullshit. I call bullshit, okay? Let's have a little think. Okay. Let's have a little think. If you've ever watched Friends, that is what I'm going to use as my example today. If you've ever watched Friends, the TV sitcom, if you haven't, where have you been? But if you have ever watched it, the episode where Ross gets stuck trying to pull his leather traces back on, that's the episode that we're going to talk about. He firstly has sweat, you know, which is just your normal skin. It's your normal skinny foundation, you know, your base. Okay, and then he adds a powder he adds talcum powder you know so your sweat is like your foundation and then he adds talcum powder which is your face powder and then obviously you still can't get the trousers up and then he rubs in lotion cream he rubs in cream what does he create he creates a paste okay i'm not saying that i'm going to get this and rub it all over my face that's not what i'm saying at all but you're rubbing something on top of a drying out product. Don't believe people when they say, oh, it doesn't touch my powder. That's bullshit, okay? You need to use a cream product. If you want to use it on top of powder, amazing. Some will set, some will move, some won't. This, I don't find that it does. But don't stick it directly on your face because it's just going to cling to it. In a matter of seconds... It's going to cling to it, okay? It's flipping powder. And it just it just annoys me, basically, when people are like, oh my God, it doesn't stick to your powder. Yeah, it does. It sticks to your powder because your powder is drying, okay? Like, live in the 21st century. Stop trying to false advertise products because, you, you know, you're not going to get yourself anywhere in life. Tap it on the back of your hand. That's what you want to do. That is all you want to do. Then you want to get your brush. And you want to swirl your brush into the product and then also swirl it up a little bit and then tap it in if you are going directly on top of your foundation with this you can apply it straight to the skin there's no harm in doing that look at that look at that how hard is that why do people have to keep lying and like you know be like, oh yeah it sits so well no it doesn't no, it does not. It doesn't work. It will never work. And you're just ripping people off by saying that it will work. There's nothing wrong with showing people an actual method that works. You know, you're not going to lose any money. You know, you're just going to, we're going to gain people's trust. Okay, look, hasn't touched my finger. It hasn't touched it because I'm pressing, pressing, which is what I did with my powder. I pressed. So I'm pressing. Okay. I'm not swiping, I'm pressing. And I'm not false advertising because you can probably do this with any cream blush, to be quite honest. It doesn't have to be an expensive one. I'm just going to say, okay? Pressing. I'm just, it just really winds me up when I see people on TikTok and they're literally like doing this and then they're just sitting there. If they came up close, you would see that that has clung to their face has clung to their face and if it hasn't jesus christ i really want to know you can bet that and if it hasn't you can bet your bottom dollar they've only powdered their teeth on you watched me powder my whole face that is why i'm showing you how to do it correctly over the top of powder don't fall for it guys just don't fall for it it's just oh it just winds me up now this does dry down absolutely beautiful it's a really good product i absolutely love it i'm, I'm not gonna you know taught you in spoiling it there are i'm guessing dupes out there but yeah it is a beautiful and it does it does dry dry it leaves a 
teensy little bit of tack the Danessa Moirix Drysdale Follet this one leaves that incy incy wincy bit of tack so we are going to go over the top of it very lightly with the Pat McGrath this was from her holiday collection and just very lightly just mix these two shades just over the top now these are pigmented you want to be dusting these off they are very pigmented. Like, very pigmented. So that's just going to help to set that into place. And then you're putting powder over the top of what? Liquid. And it's not moving. <sighs> I'm just being a bit drawn away. Let's just face facts. Okay, blush. Blush Lesson 101. Done. Just did. Hope you all found that very, very interesting and very, very informative. Right, I'm going to go and I think highlighter. Oh, yeah, highlighter. Because we're going for, you know, that glow from within, I don't want to do something like too drastic. I know, I know. I really want to go for Rare Beauty, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go in with my, my Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Moonlit Glow. Again, another product that she has absolutely nailed. Don't particularly like the packaging because it just swirls around in there, which is very annoying. Uh, but yeah. I just, oh, I just want to... It's just such a healthy glow. So great. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm going to... What am I going to do now? I don't even know what I'm going to do. I am going to go and do my lower lash line. I mean, I look like I'm back to glowing, but like I'm really not because, you know, it's all just fake. I'm fake glowing. And I'm just going to bring that in a little bit. I'm just, I'm just like a fake glowing goddess. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and do my lower lash line and then we'll be back with just the last little bits. So I just went and just added my setting spray and one layer of mascara. I'm just using my Charlotte Tilbury uh, push-up lashes. This is really nice. I don't think I'm going to wear any falsies today. I'm really embracing my natural lashes. Uh, I had this mascara before in like a full size, but then I um, used it up. But I do remember really liking it, so I may have to repurchase. I feel like I need a good, a good, some good mascaras if I'm not wearing false lashes because my lashes on this side for some reason just don't don't curl up as well as the other side. I have no idea why. Even with a the curler, they still like just don't work. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me. Now, this is a second coat of mascara. Let's see, I do quite like like a clumpy lash. That is my own mascara, my own lashes, by the way. That is not false lashes. Just point that out. So I don't do like glam glam very often, but when I do, I kind of like it. We are, of course, going to go in with a red red lip. I should take off these shrinky ears. So I'll obviously be wearing those when I'm going out. Let's take those off. I must have such a big head. Oh, does my brush still have the um, piece of paper on that I bought it with? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, so we're in a bit of a brush as well, so. But looking mighty glowy, I would just say it myself. If I don't say so myself. Okay, four lips now. 
I am going to use a Primark lip liner because <laughs> that is my rabbit, uh, pet rabbit. Um, because yeah, I just I don't have a red. Can you believe it? I don't have a red lip liner. If you know of a red lip liner that's universal that goes with like most reds, that's high end. Let me know because I just have like one. But to be quite honest, it's more of like a pinky red. Can you see? It's not like a red red. Um, so I'm not even too sure if it's gonna match. The lipstick. I need one that's like a true red. Please let me know. Down in the comments. Do you have a favourite, a good one? And for lips, I'm hoping that this is going to match, but I don't know if it is. Uh, this is quite dark. This is the Dior Lip Lacquer, and I don't know if this has a shade name. I have no idea, can't see. Or I'm just about. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to see if it works. I love red lips. But yeah, I'd much prefer to have a lip liner that you know matches. So that's it guys, that is the finished look. So this is the finished look. Hope that you like it. Hope that you enjoyed this type of video. Um, let me know down in the comments. Is there anything from today that you are definitely wanting to pick up? Something that maybe is on your wish list? Do you own any of these products? And what is your favourite? If you're on high end, if you really, really like high end, what is your favourite high end product that you probably couldn't live without and you haven't been able to find a dupe for? Uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Thank you.